Women are more likely to get hurt in car crashes, but test dummies used in crash tests don't reflect the female body. Fox 6's Aaron Maven takes us to an area crash lab focused on saving lives and changing the norm. They can happen in a flash, but the injuries can be long lasting or worse. As a trauma surgery nurse practitioner, I see crash patients every single day. For years, Susan Craw noticed women with more injuries from crashes compared to men who were also involved in the crash. It's really dramatic to think of how quickly a person's life has changed. And the stats back it up. Studies show women are 73% more likely than men to be injured in a crash and more likely to die. And I just started thinking about it and asking about it. Um, not getting enough answers. That's what led Cron to a medical college of Wisconsin crash lab, where the focus is female. In this lab, they're working to save lives through the development of female crash test dummies. You got the pulse set up over there? For decades, government crash tests have relied on smaller, male crash test dummies to represent women. Women often have less muscle mass and are more petite. This female dummy is about five feet tall and 100 pounds. Using a scaled down version of a male dummy, I just don't think we have all the information. This female crash test dummy has dozens of sensors and reflective markers. Cameras capture what the eyes can't follow. The crash tests we're currently doing, we're collecting over close to 300 channels. So it's a lot, of, a lot of data to look through. For this test, researchers put it in a reclined position. Engineer Hans Haaschild says calculations and setup can take days. But watch as a test itself takes just milliseconds. We are talking about thousands of, of lives and serious injuries that can be saved if we employ female crash test dummies in our rating systems with regard to crash test worthiness for cars. Former U.S. Congresswoman Susan Mullinary co-chairs Verity Now. The group advocates for closing gender disparities in vehicle safety. Look, we can do this one of two ways. Congress can legislate it, which will take some time, but we're happy for them to do that, or the Secretary of Transportation can make this change tomorrow. The National Highway Transportation Safety Administration says equity and safety is central to its mission, and female fatality risk has been reduced in newer vehicles. While the U.S. Transportation Department has been studying female dummies for years, it still doesn't require them. There is no doubt that using a female crash test dummy will save women's lives. It's fascinating physics, it's interesting, all of that, but this isn't theoretical to me. These researchers hope their published work will lead to equity and change. That dummy is real, that dummy is a patient I saw that very same day. It's a mission to make an impact. In Milwaukee County, Aaron Maben, Fox 6 News. The bipartisan infrastructure law that was passed in 2021, it authorizes $108 billion for public transportation. The NHTSA says it will allow the organization to accelerate research to evaluate remaining gender disparities and fatality and injury outcomes and try and determine how to eliminate them. Might not think about it all the time, but it's certainly, I mean, it's certainly a difference there. You know? I've never thought about it. You think crash test dummy is just a dummy, genderless, right? Not the case, turns the out. The height and weight, all that matters, the right? The differences it could make.